Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this particular video I would love to show you how you can stream real time data from a Kafka topic to Amazon S3 table buckets using Kafka Iceberg Sync Connector. Yes, uh, this is a hands on lab so I hope you are excited uh, for this particular session. In this uh, video, we'll uh, you know insert some uh, events into the Kafka topic. We'll use the uh, Kafka Iceberg Sync Connector, uh, sync the data real time with Glue, Glue Catalog, and then write the data into straight into the Amazon S3 table buckets. And then users can query the data real time using uh, Athena. They they, are, they can also query the data using other open source query engine. All right, so the first uh, particular step that you need to do is we need to generate the Iceberg Kafka Sync Connector. Uh, and you can really very easily do that by the following script. This will start a Docker container in your current mm -hmm. working directory. It will mount the volume. After that, install the dependencies and then install Gradle. Clone the Apache Iceberg repository and then and build the project. Once you're done with that, now I'll navigate on how it looks like. So this is the Iceberg repository. Uh, after you build, do the build command, right? Uh, scroll down until you see Kafka Connect. After you see Kafka Connects, uh, go to the folder Kafka Connect Runtime and inside that you will see a build folder and then search for distribution. Here is a zip file that you can see, right? Copy this particular zip file. You will need that in the project repository. So now that uh, assuming that you have that particular zip file, now in the GitHub repository that's given to you. So if you probably navigate to the GitHub, which is here, right? you will see Kafka Connect folder. Simply unzip your uh, files over here. I've already done that, so I just wanna show you. Here you can see, uh, not this one. Let me quickly go to project. And then here, here you can see I've, I've unzipped that particular uh, directory, right? So first step is, you know, go ahead and generate the Kafka, uh, Kafka Connect Iceberg Sync, right? Uh, once you do that, uh, extract that in, uh, extract that into this particular directory. All right, now step two of the process, we need to spin up the containers uh, or the stack infrastructure locally, right? So you can leverage the Docker Compose that I have given to you, right? The only thing that you would probably change, uh, here you can see this is a Kafka Broker, Kafka Connect, Kafka Connect UI, right? You will see an environment variable, make sure you replace your uh, access and secret key over here. And then now we're gonna spin up the stack. Now, assuming the step one and step two has done, which means step one was generating the Kafka Connect Iceberg Sync Connector, right? And the step two was you edited the environment variable. Now we can spin up the stack. So in the project directory, we can issue a command docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus D. And this will start all the containers running locally. And then you can go to localhost 8080 where you will see a UI for the Apache Kafka. Uh, here you can see we do not have any particular topics. Now we're gonna create a sample topic and then publish some data into it. All right, it's time we publish some data into the Kafka uh, Kafka Kafka topic, right? So into my Docker desktop, I can see there's, there's also a Python container here, right? You can exact into it or whatever, however you like. I can simply click here and click on exact. I can do ls and I will navigate to the workspace and here you will see data producer.py. I will simply run the, the Python data producer.py. This will write some data, right? And now if I probably go to my localhost 8080 and go to topics and refresh here and try to search for customers. I don't see one, uh, but again, very soon uh, it will appear. So let's wait. Let's go here. Let's go to topics. Try to search for customers. And here you can see, now I see that uh, topic. If you go to messages, you will see some sample messages that we can play with. All right, so now we are at the final part. We are uh, for finishing the hands-on lab. So now let me navigate you uh, to, uh, now we can create a sync, right? So inside the connector folder, you will see this particular ice, register iceberg sync.json. Just navigating you quickly. Uh, topics, we are listening to customer topic. This is gonna be a REST catalog, right? Uh, then here you can see that the warehouse ARN, right? The region, right? Simple, right? Nothing nothing fancy, right? And then uh, over here, you can see the commit interval. You can play with this number, right? Based on your uh, use case, right? 
uh, I have JSON messages, so I'm, I'm gonna use the value converter to order apache.kafka.connect.json.json converter. Now how to use this, right? Very simple. So all you will do is simply replace your warehouse over here. That, that's, that's about it, right? Now come to your terminal, okay? In the project repository, we'll say dot slash scripts setup.shell. Now once you do that, here you can see, uh, it was able to register the iceberg sync, right? Kafka iceberg sync, right? Now, if we go to Amazon S3 table buckets, uh, at this point, we should see a table created. So I'm gonna click on Saumilsha dev, and here you can see that customer table has been created, right? In the database, my database, right? So if you observe uh, quickly, let me see if I can. So here you can see, right? my database dot customer table right and same we have it over here now yeah you can publish more messages if you want so ls i'm producing more messages into the kafka topic python 3 actually it's python and i was able to publish some messages let's do some more okay let's come here if i go here right and if i refresh i can see some more messages are coming into my kafka topic right now I can probably click on the radio button and click on query with S3 tables. And now I can do a preview table. And now it's querying that particular data now, right, for me. And here you can see we are able to query the data now using Athena. So the setup was easy, right? So if you follow the steps and if you, so the steps are very easy, right? Step number one, okay build the uh, iceberg sync connector with the steps that i gave you step two edit the docker compose with aws access and secret key of course the access and secret key that you use uh, the permission has to be granted to that particular iam user via lake formation step three spin up the stack step four reg uh, edit the iceberg uh, uh, sync json file edit your variable there uh, you know then create a sync and then verify the data uh, in s3 tables by querying that in uh, by querying uh, that with athena or duckdb or spark or any other engine that you may like thank you so much for watching the video i i, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular video and by the way i i, I tried my level best but all steps are given on on this as well on my medium blog so in case if you miss out on any steps please go ahead to my medium and read uh, this uh, particular blog so i hope that will help you out with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the upcoming next video.